Hi, I'm Morgan Wick with GuitarControl.com. I've got an arpeggio sequence for you today that involves some pedal tones. So let's take a look at it. So this is an arpeggio sequence that uses a bunch of pedal tones in it. And a pedal tone comes from like organ players where they press a pedal down and let that ring for a long time as they play other notes over it. In the way I'm doing it, it's going to be a note that we're going to keep coming back to, like a, a note that's going to keep happening over and over again. You'll see what I mean when we get up to it. So let's take a look at this lick. Uh, we're going to start on the 14th fret of the G string, up to the 13th fret of the B string, and then 12th fret of the high E string, so a, an A minor arpeggio. And then up to the 17th fret of the high E string. And that note on the 17th fret is the note that we're going to keep coming back to. So we go up to there, then we go to the 15th fret of the high E string, then back up to the 17th fret, and to the 13th fret, back up to the 17th fret, 12th fret, back to the 17th fret, and then continue down the scale. So 15th fret B string, 13th fret, 12th fret. So that all together sounds like this. And you'll see what's happening there, it's uh, going continually going back to that note. And I'd recommend to start just taking that part there, the one arpeggio, and just doing it over and over again until you feel comfortable with it. It's a little bit tricky because you're going back to the pinky continually, which is a weak finger. So really work on that, getting it nice and strong and nice and solid. And then from there, this lick just goes through different arpeggios using the same idea. So the next one's a D minor arpeggio. This would be 15th, 14th fret G string, 15th fret B string, 13th fret high E string. And then up to our pedal note, which is the same as the pedal note we had before. And then you continue down the scale in the exact same way. So just the arpeggio is different on that part. Our next one is like a D sharp diminished. You could think of it maybe as a B7. It's a passing chord, a very classical sounding um, progression here. And that's gonna be 14th fret G string, 16th fret B string, 14th fret high E string, and then pedaling off the 17th fret again for the third time in a row. The, the pedal notes you're gonna do, the other notes you're gonna use are 15th fret high E string, 14th fret, 12th fret, 16th fret B string, 13th fret, 12th fret. So that one. And our last arpeggio here is an E major. So we're going to go 14th fret, or 16th fret, G string, 17th fret B string, 16th fret high E string, 19th fret high E string. And that's going to be the pedal note on this last one. And your other notes are going to be 17th fret, 16th fret, 18th fret on the B string, 17th fret, 15th fret, 15th fret on the G string, and then to the 14th fret of the G string is your final note. So the whole entire sequence slowly. time a little bit quicker. So there's the arpeggio sequence. Hope you enjoyed it. You can check out the tabs below. Try experimenting with pedal tones. It's a really cool idea that you'll find a lot of great players use. And if you like this lesson, remember to subscribe to Guitar Control for more cool content, and I'll see you next time.